how does a corneal transplant work? So a corneal transplant is a procedure where we remove a damaged or diseased cornea from a patient and we replace it with healthy corneal tissue from someone who has passed away and donated their cornea. In the early 50s, 1950s, 1960s, when corneal transplantation was first being performed routinely, there was only one type of corneal transplant. And indeed, that, that continued right up until the 1980s and early 1990s. There was only one type of corneal transplant, and that was a full thickness corneal transplant, where we would remove the whole full thickness of the cornea, so a, a disc full thickness from the center of the cornea, and we would replace that with an equivalent disc full thickness from a donor. But throughout the early 90s onwards, and particularly in the last 10, 15 years, we've seen a complete revolution in corneal transplant surgery. It's now very, very rare to do a full thickness transplant of the cornea. Instead, what we've moved to is selectively replacing only the layers of the cornea that are damaged. So some patients who, for instance, have a scar on the surface of their cornea from an infection, we only need to replace the superficial parts of the cornea, and we no longer need to even enter the eye. We can simply remove the anterior two-thirds or whatever is required to get beneath the scar and replace that with an equivalent partial thickness corneal transplant from, from, a, from a donor. The other type of transplant we do is, in many patients, the surface of the cornea is entirely healthy and the main body of the cornea is entirely healthy as well. It's simply the inner lining, or what we call the endothelial cells, that are damaged in some patients. And the types of conditions are typically things like Fuchs endothelial dystrophy, or patients who've had many eye operations, we call this pseudophagic bullous keratopathy. So in these two conditions where the endothelial cells that line the cornea have been damaged or have died off prematurely because of aging, it's possible to replace this layer of cells through a keyhole incision and remove the, the, the dead or the, the layer of cells that's damaged and replace this with a very thin layer of cells from a donor. And we call this either a DSEC, D-S-A-E-K procedure, or a DMEC, a D-M-E-K procedure.